Welcome to episode two of the Virtual Fly Guides podcast. This is Darren Wallentine of the Virtual Fly Guides and www.flyguides.net. On this episode, I'll be talking about an Arizona trout fishery. And no, it's not Lee's Ferry. I'll be talking about Silver Creek, near the town of Sholo in Arizona's White Mountains, northeast of Phoenix. Silver Creek is a spring creek located just east of the Sholo Airport and is probably better known for its trout hatchery specifically for the work they're doing to restock the Apache trout to its native ranges. The Silver Creek hatchery uses specific channels of the upper creek for raising the trout and are well fenced off and clearly posted for the inquisitive angler. The catch for Silver Creek is that regulations keep anglers off the creek for the warmer summer months, giving the trout a well-deserved break. The creek is open from the beginning of October until the end of March. And as with any fishery, it's important for anglers to know each fishery's regulations. If you have the opportunity to fish Silver Creek, here are the directions to get you there. From the town of Sholo, you'll take Highway 60 East, also known as the Deuce of Clubs, past the Highway 77 intersection, and then turn left on Borden Ranch Road. After about five miles, you'll turn right on the dirt road just past Hatchery Way, and then drive to the end of that road to a designated parking area. You'll know you're there because there's a restroom and a small covered bulletin board describing Silver Creek's special regulations. Now back in 2007, I had the opportunity to fish Silver Creek the last weekend in March. I was with two buddies and fellow virtual fly guides, Eric Vale and Dave Saworski. We had hoped to fish the North Fork of the White River on the White Mountain Apache Reservation. But with the heavy snowpack and the snow melting, it made conditions virtually unfishable. So at that point, with the recommendation from one of Eric's friends, we headed to Silver Creek. We arrived at the parking area around 8 a.m. and then hiked up almost a mile to the upper part of the creek and finally began fishing around 9. As we walked through the second barrier fence, we began seeing some extremely large shadows darting in and out from the undercut banks. It became necessary to stay back from the edge make long casts, and make them delicate. We had some success with dries, mostly small, dark elk hair caddis, and a few on nymphs. The average size was pushing the 18 inch mark, with a few rainbows over 20, and a few Apaches up to about 16 inches. Overall, Silver Creek can be a challenging fishery. If you stay back from the edge, time your casts, and lay the dry fly down gently, Silver Creek can yield some large trout and I can verify that there are fish pushing the 30 inch mark. We met up with another angler late in the day and he shared a photo that he took with his cell phone with a huge rainbow. It looked like the fish was as long as his leg, but he confirmed it was right around 30 inches. The size of that fish made the photo look awkward, but I definitely got the point. Well, that's all we have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the Virtual Fly Guides podcast, and remember to visit us at www.flyguides.net to post your photos, videos, and reports. We'll see you on the water.